And today we're going to have a couple more Olight flashlights to review. If you've been following the channel, you know we've already reviewed the S2R. We've reviewed the uh, S1R, which this is the natural light. The SR, S1R cool white. And then we also reviewed the H1 Nova, which is the headlamp. we got two more for you. Now we'll keep this one out. This is the S2R. We've got the S30R to review here. Um, you can see it's a little bit bigger than the S2R and also carries a higher power. And we also have the S10R. Again, compared to the S1R, a little bit larger in size. And like all the Olights we've reviewed so far, you've got the pocket clip, which is removable. Same power button. As mentioned in previous videos, for me, I find it a little bit problematic. If it twists, then you can't turn the power on and off. The functionality of all the Olights are the same, so I'll link my original video in the description if you want to see how all the functions work, but you've got your, your ultra low, you've got your medium, high, and ultra bright. And like all the other Olights that I've reviewed on the channel, you have the magnetic charging base. Other notable features, it does include a rechargeable battery, 18650. It's a 3500 milliamp. And if you already own the SR30 version 2, this is version 3. This is a bit shorter. It's 3 millimeters shorter than the older version. This is IPX8 waterproof. It weighs 3.88 ounces and measures 4.5 by approximately 1 inch. Power output 1050 lumens. Now they claim 3.3 hours at that rate. A little bit higher than uh, some of the previous models. Level 2 would be 500 at 3.5 hours. Then you got the level 3, which is 120 lumens at uh, about 15 hours, 12 lumens at 130 hours, and half lumen, which is that ultra ultra. Can't even see it. That at 100 days. Beam distance 616 feet. Pretty cool. S10R, pretty much the same. Magnetic base, charging base, the removable clip, and then the same power button. Again, you hold it down while it's off. You've got your ultra low mode there. Turn it back on. Hold it in. There you go. Does include a rechargeable battery. It's a CR123 and it is uh, 650 milliamp. Power output, 600 lumens max, and you'll get that for about an hour. Um, 120 lumens at two and a half, that's level two. Level three is 12 lumens at 33 hours, and level four, which is the final mode on this one, half lumen for 15 days. Beam distance is 118 meters. This one is IPX waterproof as well and the size 2.7 inches by about an inch. 2.05 ounces. And again, I'll post a review to the original S2R, which I go over all the features. You can see how those work. I'll post that in the description. So if you're interested, don't forget to check that out. And as with all the other lights, included is a really nice lanyard with the perforating tool, which is just a little needle that allows you to thread that in much easier. So like I've shown in the previous videos, if you put the needle through there, that's how easy it is to loop that through. If you got fumbly fingers like me, you know that's an, an awesome option to have. Now if you've watched the other Olight videos, you recall seeing this charger here, which comes with all of them except for the H1 because it does not include a rechargeable battery. So it's magnetic, Really, really cool USB. Well, they've actually made it even cooler, in my opinion. Each one of these has one of these bases. So you've got this sitting wherever in the garage, whatever. There's a little light on here, a little charging indicator. Just set it on there and plug it in. What's even cooler, if you notice on the side here, a USB charging. So you can have one plugged into the wall. 
like such. Then you can take your USB, and I've already tested this and it worked fine. Plug your other one in so you can daisy chain these chargers like that. Now for me, I'm going to leave one in the garage and one down here in this little my little workshop. So I'll have them at both places. Also, they suction cups on the bottom. So they will stay in place. If you've got a, a nice flat surface, they will stay in place, won't move on you. You may be asking, what else can I plug into here? Well, I don't know, because I did try to daisy chain them, and then on the second one, I plugged in my iPhone. It didn't work. So I didn't try it with this one. It's really not intended for that, but I just wanted to see what I could do with it, and it didn't charge the iPhone. It didn't even recognize it. You can purchase this dock separately. I think it runs about $10. I may buy some more just to have them everywhere. So I'll have one upstairs in the bedroom, one in the garage, and one down here in my little work area. So I'll probably buy one more, uh, maybe even one for my uh, office at work. So maybe two more. That way I've always got a little charging dock. I always know that I'm charged and ready to go. Coolest feature ever. So if you're in the market for a new flashlight and you want something not ultra small, but kind of, I wouldn't say it's really quite medium sized, but it's got a good size to it, a uh, good amount of uh, candle power, I would definitely recommend this S30R. Um, the S2R, I like it, but I like the size of this one just a tiny bit better and the output and the uh, the runtime is a little bit better than the S2R. Actually, I think the runtime is quite a bit better than that. So I'd probably recommend the S30R over the S2R. Just, just based off that. Now for me, I'm still gonna keep this with the Leatherman because this is a little bit too long. This will probably be more like a pocket carry or I'll put it in my glove box. This will still stay with the Leatherman here. Just because that little bit of extra is gonna make it too bulky. Now for me personally, comparing the S10R to the S1R, I'm gonna go with the S1R because it's a little bit smaller in diameter. It's not quite, uh, you can almost fit the S1R inside of the S10R. And the runtime on a small light doesn't really matter to me. Now they're both the same output, but the runtime's a little bit better on the S10R. But if I didn't have the S1R, I would probably go with the S10R. Mainly because of this. I love this base. But they all serve a different purpose for me. So I, I, I don't really have one favorite, but if I didn't have any of these, I would probably go with the S30R. Because of the size, the runtime, and the output. But again, for me, they all serve a little purpose. This is going to go with my Leatherman, my Mutt. The H1 will go, uh, I, I keep it in my uh, garage for the shop there. I would like to pick up maybe an H1R, use one for camping, one for the shop. So I have one in each location. These very small ones. Now, the S30R in my case is probably going to go in my glove box. One of these will stay down here. One of these will stay in the bedroom, and then I'll have another one in the garage. So they all have a place. For me, having all these is perfect. If I had to choose one, it would definitely be this one, just because of what I, the, you know, the mentioned benefits. Or the S2R. But I have to say, with the charger, it's included. I love that base, the output, and the run probably be the S30R. Or the S2R. Now, the S2R is a little smaller, smaller diameter, smaller length. Not quite the runtime as the S30R. Be sure to check out the links in the description below. I will have Amazon links for each one of these lights that we've reviewed. And if you decide to buy one, please click on that link. That is my Amazon affiliate link that kind of helps the channel. Maybe I can get more lights, more reviews, more builds, all that good stuff. I put everything back in the channel and every little bit helps. Also, I have manufacturer links so you can get more detailed specs. You will find specs on Amazon, but you can really dig in on Olight's site. And if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. I'm going to hopefully be doing a lot more with the channel, more reviews, more builds, kind of a once a week kind of thing. And if you like the video, don't forget to hit the like button. If you have any questions or comments, please post those below. I try to answer every comment, usually within a week or two, and PM. Feel free to PM me. Those usually anywhere from two days to two weeks. I get to them when I can. I do have a full-time job. This is just something I do for fun. And last, but certainly not least, thank you for watching.